Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. <laughs> Hope everybody's Good had luck. a lovely Christmas and New Year. Oh. We're just ending the first week of 2023. Uh, if you've been out on your travels over Christmas, I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we were working, so we weren't able to do anything. So um, we've just come out today. Um, Getting a bit bored now, aren't we? So we thought yeah. we'd just pop out. Show you our local area. Um, so we've come down to South Shields. So if you're travelling up the northeast over the summer or, or any time, go maybe towards look, see if there's any, uh, Northumberland. This is a, a decent stopover, isn't it? It's a lovely so. place. The place is nice itself. Yeah. It's just we're not too sure about any stalls, but we're going to double yeah. check our little. Just say on park for a night. There's a there's a car park, yeah. isn't there? I think it's three pound. But we'll go down and we'll we'll have a look, we'll have a look at that. So to show you a little bit about it. Or just follow us. Through, it might be worth a stop off. Yeah. Plenty of pubs, restaurants. Oh, um, pub it's a nice little place. beach area as well. So uh, he follows around for the rest yeah. of the day. Yeah. We'll have a little wander about. He's just now. In a bit. Just have a little wander down here, so we're heading towards down towards the beach. Um, we'll just show you about now. Playing fields and football fields and that across here. We just parked up on the road up here. Don't think so. I'm not sure if it's a haven or not, but just to the left of us here, which you can just see behind these uh, these bushes here, it's Sandhaven um, caravan site. It's quite a large -ish site, it's right on the coast and it's got some motor home spots. Um, we're not 100% sure, we had a little check, check earlier but we'll double check again. We think it's quite expensive. Um, but it looks a nice site. Um, it's been there a long time. Well, there's a lot of statics and stuff on there now. So, so yeah, we'll just carry on down to the beach now. We'll have a wander down there and I'm sure there's a couple of parking spots around there. So what were you saying there, girl? Have you got... Yeah, so... How much that sand It's just got, like, a, a price range, so it varies from, like, 30 to £40. Pound. It's got different times, so February... Oh, per night? To, yeah. Is it? February to March, £30. Pound. April, 1st of April to the 14th of April, which I think is Easter, isn't it? £40. Pound. And there must be something on in September because the 8th of September to the 10th of September it's £60 so there must be something on well don't like have quite a yet. few like uh, <laughs> like um, concert things and that oh, on they don't do, they do don't they in the summer aye so it might be then but a bit expensive flat for me like how would we pay on that on the campsite would you uh, well I think it's expensive if if you only come for one night you probably wouldn't want to when you can go down like say it does see you can park in the car park for yeah. well, it said three pound but we'll check that out we'll have a check. Um, but if you're coming and you're wanting to stay longer you might want if you want like, also on the way when we're driving out as well when we're heading back later we'll show you because we think there's a couple of places get that phone up there girl <laughs> there's a couple of places there uh, like further along on the way out where you could walk back into us so we'll check them out as well so we've got a pub just here, platform 33. Looks like a do carvery every day, which doesn't Paul doesn't like my fancy carveries like. Carvery. But it's got the um the train thing and all that on it. But I'll get closer. So we've got platform 33 here. You've got the train on the front here, which is a little restaurant, little pub on the corner there. We're going across the road because we're almost sure that in this car park here you can you can park in with a motor on. Let's check it out. See what's yours this is the evening park bar. Evening charges. Oh yeah, evening charge three pound. Uh well, there's nothing no So evening charge three pounds so between six oh no ah, that's six pm and nine. nine. Right. So, yep. There's nothing, no restrictions on there saying you can't so it's a nice little car park here. It's on park for a night, there's a lot of people have to put it on that they've parked and it's a nice, this is obviously it's going to be quite busy on that road for quite and This is the front of that sand here and as you can see it's overlooking the, the uh, beach but I think the motorhome uh, pictures are right at the back of the site so don't be expecting to look out straight onto the beach for them. Seating area in the summer, if you come in the summer, oh, yeah. loads of outside seating area there, aren't there? Doesn't look like there's any uh, restrictions on parking down, are you? It 
doesn't, but it's got maximum vehicle weight 3.5 tons. Which is most of your motor homes, is that only? So, I mean, it is on the main road here, but yeah. if you were stuck, you've got another car park here, uh, South Promenade, for sure, period of every day, 8 am till 8 pm. On it, yeah. So this one here, you can't it's got restrictions on it. Hi, you didn't just send you one. No, no, no. So this car, well, hey, you can't overnight. It's got on restrictions, so no, you can't sleep in it and all that. So this one's a no-no. See, I'm cause a nice big car park. I kind of you're not doing the arm really, are you? No. But so, they're left here, right? Right, we'll have a look. We've got all the sand dunes here on the right hand side. So we've got all these sand dunes here. Quite nice, eh? Uh huh. What's going on here? I think so. Sundial or something, is it? New Sundial. New Sundial. New Sundial pub here. So, for starters, if you're standing in the car park down here, You've got like a pub there, a restaurant, you've got a pub here, served food as well. Yeah. Right next to your fish and chip restaurant there, the Blue Marlin look. You've got easy access to the beach here. Which takes you down into the sand dunes and all, isn't it? Yeah. It's a new sundial. That looks alright, doesn't it? Oh, look down. Yes, <laughs> donuts. Or is it not? Is it donuts? Is it not the fish and chips? No, it's not like donuts. Leave only footprints on our beach. Ah, nice little sign there. Oh, you've got a little park there, a little football. -y. Is that a little skate park and that for the kids and all this? Yeah, it's nice, quite nice. There you are, that leads oh, into the dunes. Oh, it's a dog band zone, so anybody that's... Got a dog zone, be at the September the 30th. Right, no, it's the dogs. Six, is it just 8 to 6? 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Strange enough, but you're going to take your dogs down here. Between me and September? Yeah. Between them times. Because I'm seeing... That takes you all into the dunes there, the sand dunes, which is nice picnicking and stuff like that, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you go down here, this takes you down to the beach. It's quite a nice beach. Long time since I've been actually down Seabrand Beach, but no, what is it? So Shields Beach. <laughs> ah, I see Brands <laughs> further along the road there. I know, we used to come down all the time when the kids was little, but now they're grown up, it's not quite the same coming down with the hubby and sitting down in a sandcastle right. like, is it? <laughs> see, I'm tapping little legs down though. There's when I take you legs. down with the little legs. <laughs> Just see, you got a skate park on the left there. There's Seagull laughing at Gill. <laughs> And then when you come down here, we come into the beach. Got the lifeguard place here. This should be really busy in the, in the summer though, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, uh, all that will be open for nice people's beach. It's a nice beach, you've got all the families on and people swimming and barbecues and all sorts on, haven't they? Yeah. Um, but we'll just show you how it now, but it's a nice sandy beach. So... Oh, yeah, Aye, somebody metal detecting there. So you've got... Look along that way, right the way along there. It's all just a sandy beach until you get the cliffs further around. Yeah, but you've got all this beach here. You've got all the sand dunes on the right hand side there, which for kids love playing in them and all that, didn't they? In the sand dunes and rolling about and stuff. Got the lovely beach here, which is all lovely clean beach now and all, aren't they? Yeah. And then when you go across this way, I don't know if you'll make it out, but you've got the piers, you've got the two piers. So you've got South Shields Pier there, and then you've got North Tyneside Pier there. And then I'll just sh sh show you a bit further around in a minute when I can, see if you can pick up Tyneside Priory. I'll just get further around, we'll show you. Right, so, let's see, you've got the piers down here, which I don't think you'll really make them out on here. 
the two piers but and again across that way you can hardly make it out but along the beach there but across the other side of the Tyne you've got Tynemouth and just up there which I cannot zoom into it but just up there you've got say uh, South Tyne, uh, North Tyneside Priory which is worth a visit as well in itself isn't it? Well, anyway, the is all mine, oh, yeah, she's mine. away again <laughs> Right we're going to walk away, it's starting to rain now walk away and have a look around the shields so we're just behind where the fish and chip shop is, the Blue Marlin and I think we're just behind the shores now, the amusement aren't we? So you've got Sea View Cuff there amusements here to get into the shores and stuff like that so we'll just have a wander along this, we'll see what's along here I've just seen the gale, I didn't realise as we weren't along here, all the dunes is along this side as well I thought it was uh, just along behind us where we were but, uh, we're going to walk further along here because I think there's two car parks along here which we're not sure if you can park up in overnight but we'll have a little squire and have a little look and let you know what's these here girl do you know? It's a little res well, that's our sign on the inside, it's a residential area oh, so it's like little, like little chalets like, oh, right. like yeah, like flats or something there isn't it? Mm. We'll just see them there, that, this, we think this, all this used to be a car park it's that long since we've been down, I know it's all some kind of residential area. Um, you've got this here, watch, this is this is the pier, isn't it? This is the start of the pier. So I they these were car parks yeah, up there. Just a car park yeah. years ago. What's this park. here? Some shit not the life big yet. Let's have a little look here. Since it was formed in 1866, it's a grade two listed builder as well. So it's been there a long time, isn't it? 1862? 1862. Oh no, sorry, 1862, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Not often you're right, but you're right. Ah, you know. <coughs> so this is the, uh, the big beer between the two piers. So you've got South Shields this side, where we are now. This is a pier, South Shields pier, and then this is a big. Like you go on the pier, might be open or shut. This I'm not is a sure. bit like Seaburn where the block was. Uh, you've got this big beer here, right round there, and then you've got across that side. That's uh, the other side of the Tyne. So you've got Tyneside Pier across there. I'm not sure if you can get the Priory out now, but you've got all that there. But the only way to get across there, I'm not sure. Is the ferry still going across the Tyne from Shield, North South Shields to North Shields? Yeah. I think there's a ferry goes across the town from South Shields to North Shields, further up the river there. Um, or you've got to go through the town tunnel, through that way, haven't you? Yeah. So, anyway, we'll just have a wander down there. There's a car park down there, look. Ah, there's a big car park there. I'm not sure if this was a car park, you know, what we're looking at there or not. I kind of think one, because he is still a big car park, see, isn't it? You've got like a, uh, a little hotel on the end there, isn't it? On the end of them car parks here. Yeah. And that's nice and calm there at the deer. Looks lovely. The sky's a bit threatening like. There's the air, you're not mad out on here, but there's the air the plane just coming in, it's just swinging out now and then it'll come back in to go to Newcastle Airport. They tend to swing out, don't they? Swing out to see to turn to come back into the airport. Yeah, for the so room what do we be depressed after this Christmas holiday? Fine, coming back. back. Sunny yoke here. I, I just think it hasn't been too bad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's freezing cold. I'm just going to turn around and see if, see if the camera picks this sky up, what we're looking at. And that's. Look at that sky there. <laughs> just a bit threatening, like. I think we might have a little bit rain, but look. Shine the sunshine over there. Right, so we'll walk further on. It's getting a bit nippy and all, isn't it? And I've just said it's quite mild. <laughs> just getting a bit nervous. Well, I've, I've, I've got my continental quilt out, so I've Never mind. Know. Right, we'll carry on a little bit. Right, these girls found another little car park here. Let's have a look. Pay your head. Maximum stay, so it's just a. Um, Aye, regulations in use and all that. Aye. So this one's not really overnight as well. That says locked at 10 o'clock on that side, and then it's on that one, it says locked at 1 o'clock every night. Somebody's telling lies, isn't it? So uh, that's another Actually, one. You can't park so at the minute we've only found that one car park, haven't we? <laughs> well, 
Oh, there's like, see, there is the uh, campsite. There's the there. campsite, there's on the main road there, or there's well, the where car park. park. So you can park there. Aye. We park if you can get in. And the only problem there, you're right overlooking the houses, aren't you? Uh, you know, know what I mean? It's yeah. so lovely. It's a lovely sandy beer here, isn't it? This beach here. For all those people who fish out there. Often quite people often quite fish there while that uh, red thing is in there. No, it's um our in a light tree on it. Don't know if you can meet them out on the beach and in the in the water there. You're not me at the moat on here because it's not zoomed so that yeah. far you know but you've got like the r and alive lads and lasses in the water they're doing some training chilly in there huh yeah. just a bit right so we've got the dunes adventure balls there girl girl it's not this news and you've got the pier runs right out on there girl i was saying you've got the, the ball in there 10 pin balling. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Heading to the left there. There's a car park down there, we're not sure about that one. Uh, there's a little grill there. Not sure, do you want to have a walk down? We'll have a look. We'll have a wander down and check this car park out down here. What are you seeing? What's that one, sir? But it's locked at 10 o'clock. It's like if you look down there, there's a beer. That must be where you come in. So there's restrictions button. on it, though. Yeah. Underneath you can see them, right? It's the same as. Aye. So there's no. Like same again in this one, which I can't honestly kind of see the problem. I don't know why they didn't let people stop in overnight. You know what I mean? Mm. Can't see the problem, like, but never mind. It's up to them. What did you say? Nice little ice cream and grill. Aye, it is. Good nice coffee. Well, we could, I would get you a coffee, but at the minute we're busy down, we'll have to walk further along, right? Any excuse to keep that money in his pocket? I'm not sure if I've got any words, so I'll crack on. Uh, <laughs> keep them, keep them moths away. <laughs> <laughs> Fish and chips there, should. We've got the Buddha uh, lounge there, the Lately, should. Bar and you've got this hotel, what is it, bar, bar 52? It's always been a hotel there, hasn't it? Used to have a little fish shop on the side there, a little hole in the wall, but it's all changed now, isn't it? Yeah. Just walk around these roadworks before I took them. And you've got the 10 pin balling across there. Right, just get sand. So you've got all the amusements here, ladies, into your 10 pin ball. Defibrillator there, which is nice to see. The rides. I didn't think there's many on, is there? You've got your shows and all that here. Your amusements and your rides. So you've got Ocean Beach Pleasure Park here. So this is where you head in, you've got all your rides and stuff around here and all that. But got the ice skating rink there. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, I was going to have a look, so let's have a little look about. Got the ice rink in there. Skate heads and break my legs. You've got all your shows and stuff around here. I think Gail thinks she's getting on that ice skating rink, but she'll end up breaking her legs again. <laughs> Here she comes. I know, I just, just I think Gail thinks she's going on, on, on the ice skating, but she'll break her legs. Ankle again. Anyway, so that's it. Oh, that Right, what we're going to do, we're going to cross here, we're going to have a walk up towards the shops and then through into the park. A little theatre here, what's that here? Prestorian Theatre, Pier Pavilion, Sleeping Beauty. Tiny little thing, isn't it? Uh -huh. Is that it, right? Is that the theatre? We'll have a look at this old lifeboat up there. Ah, it's a tiny little theatre that. So, one of the old lifeboats here. This has been here a long time, mine, doesn't it? Yeah. One of the old lifeboats here. Lifeboat. So, let's see what's here. 
read these facts out or some of these on here again. Yeah. Associating through the central hall in the development of the world's first lifeboats in the years before the north and south piers were built, the mouth of the time was a treacherous stretch of water that caused many shipwrecks and claimed hundreds of lives. When the Brig Adventure was driven ashore in a furious storm in 1789, no purpose-built lifeboat suited to the conditions was available and Thamesfolk would only watch helplessly as eight lives were lost. Following the tragedy, local businessman Nicholas Fairless announced a competition to design a rescue boat for the town and entries were received from William Woodhaven, parish clerk of St Hilda's Church and local boat builder. So that was that, that flat bottom boat. New, Cobble, which, huh? new boat which became known as the original was launched in 1790 and served 40 years until she was wrecked on the Black Middens in 1830 right. and in 1833 you see where the road's she going, was the replaced by the Tyne Life boat that must be the time well, that must this be the time now that's it the cobble so our first one must have been like a flat bone one and they brought this cobble yeah. into it it's about the time now look and if that was it there or, oh no oh yeah launching a lifeboat yeah. the time was commissioned by south shells lifeboat committee with the 170 pound cost <laughs> to build it oh, a lot of money though then Aye. Wasn't it? 32 foot six inches long 10 foot wide 13 crew 10 oars Aye, brilliant. Amazing. And now you're gone. Black canopy as well, you understand? From that time as well, canopy. Oh, this, this. Yeah, so the, the, the restored took the canopy. Oh, down the full and canopy and everything. The canopy as well as the boat. And the boat. And put it on in. So the, was, I think it must have been stored under the canopy at one yeah, point, it was wasn't it? But can you imagine how far they've come now, though? Lifeboats compared to that, bloody hard work that one is. Brave men, brave men. No engine, just pause. And then you've got this clock here. Time's wrong though. Batteries must have run out. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna have a wander in the park, I think. Yeah. Oh, I meant to see you where we want in here. So you've got the boat on the right hand side there. As you walk up, it takes you into the town centre. Got lots of little restaurants, takeaways, pubs, and it takes you up where well, the shops are. I think there's a lot of like guest houses as yeah, well. Yeah, so on the right hand side, I think there's a lot of guest houses in there. Mm -hmm. We'll try that, takes you up there. We're not going to walk that far up, we're going into the park, so here we go. South Marine Park. <laughs> Long time since I've been in here as well. The train runs around here, isn't it? Yeah, I've been on the train many a time not with the kids. That's not not because the park's that big, you've got to get the train round it like, it's a little train yeah, isn't it's it? Only a, only a little kiddies one. What you got Gil? A prickly problem. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> they quote the doctors. Small animals were kept in the park in the Victorian times was John Peebles, the first head gardener, wrote in his diary there could be problems if one of them escaped. Very much regret to have to report that the porky pine has been pines. at large for some time has found its way to the spring flowering border and has grabbed up and eaten a large quantity of the choicest bulbs. <laughs> well that's what you do is that one? Well fancy letting the porky pine get out. Huh? <laughs> you have to get them on don't you? There you go. Which way are we going? This way? Or that way? You pick, we'll go this way. Ah, it's a nice park. I mean, it is lovely in the summer, but it gets kind of quite busy, isn't it? Yeah. You've got like a um, boat in there, I think, isn't it? Where you can hire mm -hmm. the boats out. And you've got the train goes on the outside of it, which we think the train's on there today. We'll have a look. I heard a toot toot. Did, no, we did, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, down towards the boat and look. There's a train line there. What's the barrier's going to come down on this train line? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a little train track there. So it runs right round there, right round the other, round the lake there, across the back and back round there. Kids will love it. Oh, I hear it. I don't know if you can make it out, but... Should we go on the train? train. I don't think I've got any chains down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna go for a swim then? You will in a minute. Free. Duck. <laughs> I did. <laughs> You've got like your uh, little swan boat things across there, haven't you, which you can hire out. They must surely yeah. have them in the summer though. That's it, I think a lot of it's closed up in the summer. A little duck having a bath there. 
<laughs> Get this salad pring for the girlies in them in the spring. Here's the tree and coming round, we'll get this tree on it. Let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's a bit dark here, like. We've got the tree on here. There you go. Do you think the lady on the train now want to be very odd? Just took two fingers up. The wrong way around, like, but <laughs> peace man, she said, I think. Oh. There's Muscovy's look, what we used to have. Yeah. Muscovy dog. It says instead of bread, you should feed them with spinach or chopped up cabbage. Aye, bread's not good. stink, wouldn't it? With Aye. cabbage. We've <laughs> got these little ducks following us, the one who keeps having a. No, must be thinking we've got some of it. Aye. Be thinking, I hope she's got some bread. I'm sick of not feeding us bread in here. I'm sick of this bloody cabbage. <laughs> Everybody's bringing the yeah, Christmas din fart. dinner around. <laughs> <and> sprouts. <laughs> right, we'll just walk further around here. I'm going to turn off a little bit because a lot of kids are across here. All right. Yeah, there's the sunshine come out. You've got a band stand up there. Nice band stand. Got this bit here, so you got your little boats. <laughs> laughing at <laughs> seeing it's laughing at us. You got all your little boats here, and that way you can hire out in the in the summer just from this place here. I'll have to come down with John, Sarah, and Jamie and go on these ones, see if these ones pedal a bit better than the ones that have been Moffat, wasn't Moffat, it? Was it yeah. Moffat? Was Moffat? Yeah, get the only one that didn't right. work. What's all this? Just notice this board thing. there. 25 there's years a, of raising standards. There's the, the map. Got an outdoor classroom. The map. Yeah. Oh, aye, outdoor classroom. They've even got like a South Shields Model Yacht Club. There's a the little boat all the On a Sunday, 9 or 12, so they must put the boats out on a Sunday. Oh, aye, if you come 9 or 12 on a Sunday, you can see all the little model boats out in the middle, little, little water there. Yeah, I used to have one like that. Did he? Didn't used to. Ha didn't used to. Like it used to have to push it. It wasn't a. Motorised one. Just friends of South Marine Park, just telling you things there. Mm -hmm. oh, nice little notice boards there telling you what's going on. Mm -hmm. Show you this bit what Gail's showing you, yeah. It's got the barriers across here, but it's a big show field there. I think they have little bits of concerts and odds and sods on here in the summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. Aye. Some decent people on though, don't they? They've, oh, they've had quite a few on, right? I can't think of anybody off the top of my head, like. Um No, I'm not gonna <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> right, we're heading back towards the car now, I'll just give you a little So that's a bar what was it bar 52 or something? Platform Platform 33 <laughs> Close So you got all the tunes across here Round here the new sundial so on the other side of the road now Quite along. So remember, we think the one way you can park an overnight is behind platform 33 there. So we're gonna head up the car now. There's a couple of places on the way back as we're driving out, we'll show you where we think you can park as well. Right, so we're back in the car, so we're just coming along along the road. Like so this is all the parking just on the main road. That's the other end. Just as you're coming out. Pull up there the new crown. Grassed area here. Um, yeah. When there's a car 
car park down there, I think. I don't know whether you can park in that one. I'm sure there's a pub called the Wanderers Edge or something down there. Well, you've got, like, I don't know if it's commuted out on there, but the grassland there, lovely, load, loads of space for mm-hmm. kiting and picnicking, and we've got to be careful because it is actually the cliffs there, big yeah. cliffs. Now, you've got these layabies here, which Gail's just shown you, and I've seen more than one stop along here. Um, I'm just going to pull into this one here. It's just one big long layabie along the main road. Which it is quiet on the night time, might be busy so the day, but it's quiet on the night time. And just behind us we've passed, a, there's a pub just there as well, the Bambra oh, pub. It. Yeah, oh. it's just behind us, it's called the Bambra, which apparently sells, I don't know if you can get it right, like, but I'll have a look. The only thing is you've got like houses there overlooking, but you've got a pub back there called the Bambra. Which I think I've heard people say it's lovely food and all that. So. I mean, if you were stopping here, you could pop over there, get something to eat, um, and have a look about. And because I see a lovely area there for the kids, kiting and picnicking and stuff like that, or something. I'll just mm-hmm. get the camera back to Gill. I'm just going to pull a little bit further along. We'll have a little bit further drive along because I'm sure there's a car park along here on the Gret- uh, what do you call it? Grotto. The Grotto car park, which is another pub. Um, and I'm sure you, that's on park for night, we can stay in now. Yeah. Um, I was just looking at that little chihuahua over there and I was wondering where the person was, where he was looking about with that. <laughs> so we'll have a look in this car park along here. You would get a big motor home in here. The only thing is, it's fl- I'll flood it here. Ah, well, it's a, it's a weather it's we've had, isn't it? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get parked up here and I'll just go out and have a little look. But I suppose there's a little bit of a slope here where I am. Well, if you got tucked away in this corner, it is a park for the night, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit of a, a, bit of a bank. Yeah, grab the camera, I'm just gonna take these out and let you have a look. But apparently this one's on park for night, we'll double check, but I'm sure it is. Just show you across here, so that's the restaurant there. So there's a little lift and it takes you down into the restaurant, which is below. We've got the coastal path runs along here. I'll just show you out here. I mean, people are spoiling because look at all the rubbish that's been chucked about here, but look at that coast there, beautiful. There's lovely walks along the beach there. The steps right along next to where the restaurant is as well, takes you right down to the beach. This is the, the rocks there. I see a couple of boats coming down there, looks like a couple of pilot boats. Anyway, well worth it, as I see if you're stuck for anywhere. This one's on park for the night. It's flooded here, like. Lovely walks along that way, and lovely walks back that way towards South Shales. And then a look out to the sea. Beautiful. Right, that's just back in the car now. We're going to finish this vlog off here. Uh, we just thought we'd take you out and just another one of our little local areas and just see if we can find any little spots. Uh, anybody's passing through that might uh, might help them out. 
Um, we hope you've all had a lovely, I know Silic One's lovely Christmas and New Year. All the best and I hope this 2023 is going to be a wonderful one for everybody. Yeah, yeah see you soon. Oh, see you soon. Catch us all in a bit. Please like, subscribe and comment. Yeah. You know it's all free and it'll help us out. Yeah, all right then, cheers. Yeah. See, see you all soon. Bye now. Bye. Bye. Bye.